and the students um, are very engaged in what they're doing. And they have come up with really good ideas um, from making apps um, about tourism and travel within the Danang area, um, somebody looking at world manufacturing. Um, we would have students back in our own university um, who go through this process, um, but it's part of their curriculum. Whereas here in Vietnam and in Da Nang, this is a new concept. And I must say that the students have taken to this project very well, but also the staff in Da Nang have taken to the project. Because in order for entrepreneurship to develop within a university, it must come from the students and it must also come from the lecturers. So they must both come together to deliver a finished product. Um, I, and myself and, and Wesley, have been looking at which team could we select now to win this competition, and each day I change my mind. So I'm still not too sure who is going to win this competition, and that is really good. That is really good that there are 10 student projects left, and we still have not decided which one can win this competition. So right now, we wish everyone the best. Looking forward to the final, and looking forward to see who will be the winning team. And we will welcome them to Ireland with a cave in the fault, which is a hundred thousand welcomes.